This is Don Key reporting for some other station in America, or SWSIA for short. It is Monday, February 13th, 2018. We are reporting the ex recent extreme temperature change in and around Snofford SD. It has hit the area very hard. It had just come out of nowhere with the snow and high wind speeds and has left a huge mark on the town. Here's Laura D. Firecott, uh, our live reporter in the field who is on the scene where the extreme temperature change has just hit Snofferdus. That's Hi, I'm Laura D. Farquad. Um, I'm here at Snofferdus reporting the recent temperature change that has passed through, well, here. It has left severe damage at the surrounding fields and the school is closed. It is getting very cold outside, and I had to wear this to compensate for the temperature. I recommend that you stay off major highways like U81 and Y90. Be careful that you don't slip on the ice that litters the streets like newspapers. I recommend make sure you don't leave your house and don't be outside for more than five minutes. Thank you, Lordy Farquad. Now we have the recent weather forecast from our very own mother lady, Sure Egg who is an expert in everything weather related. Hello, this is Sher Eck, and I perform the term meteorologist. Now for the recent weather and snow for days. It's pronounced Snofferdus. Oh, okay. Well then, the recent weather in Snofferdus? Is that not what I just said? Yes, it is pronounced Snofferdus. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I will now speak about the recent weather in Snofferdus, South Dakota. To start off, here's the five-day forecast for Snofferdus. Monday has a slight overcast with a high of 54 and a low of 20. There is a 20% of chance of rain. Yes, rain, but there's currently no weather advisory in effect. Tuesday isn't much better with a high of 42 and a low of 19 degrees. There's a high chance of rain with a weather advisory in effect due to chances of temperature drop, freezing all of precipitation on your vehicles, crops, or animals. Wednesday is the day to be on the lookout with a high of 20 degrees and a low of negative 19 degrees. There is a 97% chance of snow, and if it does snow, it's going to be a, a bad blizzard because of the warm front moving in. Now, in, on to Thursday. The blizzard, if there is one, will continue with a high of 12 and a low of negative 10, with a lot of snow. So stay warm, folks, and the snowstorm should be gone. With a high of 19 degrees and a low of 13, no snow will be coming down, but it should be cold. Okay, thank you, Shrek. I, uh, I mean, sure, Egg. And as a matter of fact, you are right. It is starting to blizzard already tonight. It has not hit Snofferdus just yet, but it is getting close. Over in Siouxtown, it is blizzarding already, and we have reports of field pileups, and oh my. We are getting reports of really terrible car accidents on Highway R2 and D2. There is a weather advisory, so stay inside. Don't go driving anywhere. It's not worth going anywhere. The roads today are some of the worst roads that we have seen in a long time. I do not think the town of Snowfordis was expecting anything like this considering how nice it has been here lately. I'm going to take this to our man on the scene. Hi, I'm back with a live interview. His name isn't to be disclosed. So, sir, how does this drastic temperature change feel that now that it's been happening for a while? Well, Lord, I'm going to tell you this right now. This is some poop, some stinky, Okay, okay, I get it. No, nope, you don't. You get to live in a world where the temp is the same all the time. You don't know the struggles of people around here. Okay, okay, little Timmy. Let's find another interviewing. Hey, Don, can you get back? Can you get sure back on the temperature? All right, Lord. Could you go with the weather? Sure. Sure thing, Don. Now for the cloud cover activities, wind speed, and direction and some tips, some tips and recommended things to stay safe, such as make sure to have extra blankets, nice warm hats, gloves, snow pants, and some thermal pants and socks. And here are a couple of activities you could, you could do. Maybe find some board games. I mean, sleeping is pretty fun in my opinion. Remember to stay indoors and stay warm. 
Monday will be partly cloudy overcast with a wind speed of 5 miles per hour in the direction of the wind is going northeast. Tuesday, well, let's see, there's, it looks like it looks to be partly cloudy overcast with a wind speed of 15 miles per hour during the going the direction of north. Well, Wednesday, well, like I, I said, Wednesday is the day you probably don't want to go outside unless you, of course, like negative 19 degrees. Wednesday will be fully cloudy with a high wind speed of, of right around 45 miles per hour. Wind speeds toward the north. Thursday will be partly cloudy with a wind of 23 miles per hour to the northeast. Friday has a wind speed of 14 miles per hour to the east. Now back to you, Laura, with our next interviewee. I'm here with our new interview, Frederica Fernandez, and she is going to tell a story about her farm animals being harmed or killed by the temperature change. I apologize for leaving that camera. She's, she's gone! Teddy is gone! I'm so sorry for your loss. Uh, but please, may I ask, just who is Betty? Betty's my female cow, and she just feeds everything to me, and and, and she's, she's gone along with all of my other babies. And I, I don't get how this could happen to me. Just, just how? One day they're all happy as can be. And, 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 and the next minute they're all gone. I don't know how, but this is sad. All around. I hope you can rebuild what you've lost and continue to live a long, happy life. <laughs> Thank you for your respect. It's just, but with the change, it not only took my animals, but it, it killed all my crops. <laughs> I really do feel sorry for you. That is such terrible news. I hope you can rebuild your farm and find Betty. Back to you, Don. Thank you, Laura. And that wraps up our daily weather forecast for some other station in America. Enjoy your Monday, and don't forget to stop at the local the ginger's flowers for valentine's day tomorrow are we off yes good i need to stop at the flower store 